guys, welcome to the Family Fudge. And welcome to Cooking with Mackenzie. Today we're gonna share with you three different dinner ideas that are kid friendly and budget friendly as well. All of these meals are gonna cost about $5 or less. So stay tuned. Before we start this video, make sure you're subscribed and give us a big thumbs up. On today's video, we're super excited to be collabing with our friend Kim over at the YouTube channel Free to Frugal. Over on her channel, her mission is to motivate and inspire others to live their best life on a budget. So she's all about saving money. So definitely check out her video. She's also gonna be sharing a $5 dinner idea and it's definitely going to be a challenge. So let's get started. First up, we're going to be making something that every kid loves, pizza, but with French bread. That's right, we love pizza, but ordering out can get expensive. French bread pizza is not only fast, but it's so economical, and you only need a few ingredients. Time to make the pizza. First, we have some French bread. Yes, our store has these on sale for just 99 cents, so it's a really good deal. We also have some cheese. Now we're using the Italian style, so there's mozzarella and Romano and Parmesan all in there. And this bag was about $2, but we're not gonna use the whole thing, so it's definitely going to be a cheaper way to go. We also have some pepperonis. Now I really like the turkey pepperoni. It's not as spicy, and it's definitely not as greasy. This bag was just over $2, but again, we're not gonna be using the whole bag, so it's gonna make it economical. And lastly, we're also using some store-bought pizza sauce. And since we only need a couple of tablespoons, it's definitely gonna stay within our $5 budget. Now Mackenzie, this French bread pizza is something that my mom actually made a lot when I was a kid, and we loved it. Do you think it's gonna be good? Yeah. Comment down below if you're a fan of French bread pizza. <laughs> so the first part I'm actually gonna do because we don't want Mackenzie using some sharp knives. That would not be good. So I'm gonna start by slicing our loaf in half. We're gonna put it on a baking sheet so it's easy to clean up. Next, Mackenzie's gonna spread just a couple of tablespoons of sauce all over the bread. This is really easy. Yeah, it's really fast. Next, we're gonna sprinkle on our cheese. Now you can use as much cheese as you like, but the more cheese you use, the more your dish is gonna cost. And I'm gonna try to keep myself from eating all the cheese. Yes, and lastly, we're gonna put some pepperoni. Now I'm gonna very carefully get this into the oven for just about 10 minutes or until it's all melted. This smells so good. Yeah, this is definitely a quick and easy dinner. It would be great served with salad. And there you have it. Now we're gonna do our next $5 dinner. For this recipe, I'm just using two pounds of boneless, skinless chicken breasts. And I actually got these for 99 cents a pound from Zaycon Fresh. Now if you're curious about Zaycon Fresh, I'll go ahead and leave a link in the description box, but everything I've gotten from them so far has been excellent. I highly recommend them. Next, Mackenzie's going to add a teaspoon of salt and about a quarter teaspoon of pepper. Now definitely you can add more or less, and I don't really factor in the salt and pepper into my overall cost. After that, Mackenzie's going to add one 20 ounce can of crushed pineapple, juice and all. I was able to get this can of pineapple on sale for 87 cents, which is a great deal. Now we're going to cover this and cook it on low for about six hours. Now this is definitely a dish you don't want to overcook, otherwise your chicken might be dry. So I'm going to go ahead and take the chicken out, shred it up, and then I'm going to add it back into my slow cooker with all the pineapple and the juice. Now I'm actually allergic to fresh pineapple, but the stuff in the can doesn't bother me very much, so let me know in the comments down below if you're allergic to pineapple too. At this point, I'm gonna go ahead and add just a little bit more salt and pepper to taste. And then I'm going to add about half of this bottle of barbecue sauce, which comes to about $1. So this chicken's gonna have a combination of sweet with the pineapple juice, but also some smoky barbecue flavor as well. And then you just mix it all up. Now you definitely could serve this over some rice, but today I'm gonna to put it on some hamburger buns because I got these on sale for 88 cents, which is such a good deal. And you can even add more barbecue sauce if you prefer. 
Our last recipe is breakfast. Because we love breakfast for dinner, don't we? Yeah. To make this banana bread French toast casserole, here's what you're going to need. We're starting with our bread. You guys, this is all the leftover bread from all of our cutout sandwiches that we've made for lunches. I definitely save these in the freezer just for recipes like this. I'm also using about two cups of milk and I'm actually using the shelf stable milk. I get it at the Dollar Tree and it's only one dollar. And I'm only gonna be using about half the box. We're also using six eggs, which are about a quarter a piece, a few shakes of ground cinnamon, a quarter cup of brown sugar, two bananas, and about a third cup of melted butter. Now these other ingredients I actually already had, so I didn't need to purchase them at all. And I'm only using a little bit of each, so the cost isn't gonna be a lot. So we just finished adding our milk to our mixing bowl. Next, we're gonna crack the eggs. This is a good time for Mackenzie to practice. Let me know in the comments down below if your kids are good at cracking eggs or not. We're still learning around here. Mackenzie's going to mix this up for me. And then we're also gonna add our brown sugar and our cinnamon and the butter. Now because this bread has been in the freezer for quite a while, I do like to spread it out on a baking sheet and pop it into the oven for a few minutes to toast it up. This definitely helps the bread taste fresher. So now we're ready for our bread. It's been toasted and it's cooled down. Now Lily's helping me to tear it up and get it into our pan. This is a nine by 13 pan. And this is about six to eight slices of bread. Now if you don't have crust like me, you can usually find a good loaf of bread for about a dollar. Next, Lily's gonna try her best to slice up our bananas. She does such a great job. And we're gonna add those to the bread. Next, we're gonna pour our egg mixture all over the bread. And I'm really gonna try my best to make sure that every bit of bread gets some of this egg mixture. Now if you wanted to, you could stick this in the fridge for a couple of hours just to let the bread really soak up all the liquid or you can cook it right away, it's totally up to you. Now we're gonna add this to our oven. We preheated it to 350 degrees and it's gonna take about 20 minutes. Now you can serve this just as is and you will be right at $5 for this dinner. But if you have some things in the pantry and fridge, you can definitely doctor it up. I found a can with some whipped cream in the back of my fridge, so I'm gonna add that. And I'm also gonna add a few more slices of banana. Yum, you guys, it is so good. I really like that some parts are crispy and some parts are soft. It's a great combination. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. And don't forget to go check out Kim's video over at the channel, Free to Frugal. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.